Welcome to our executive interview series at the Workday Federal Forum presented by FedScoop. I'm Wyatt Cash with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Stephen Hurley, Managing Director of Platforms at Accenture. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let me start by asking, how do you see agencies and constituents benefiting from workforce modernization initiatives, and how are they empowering and strengthening human capital in government? Yeah, I think, you know, HR organizations benefit greatly in a number of ways. And I think the biggest one to me is in their ability to attract and get top tier talent to come work for the agency, but for that talent to stay working for the agency and they're not leaving or looking for another position, right? I think a lot about the generation that's coming into the workforce now. This is a digital native generation. And I think about the iPhone, right? This debuted in, I think it was 2007. So think about someone that's coming out of college, say they're 22 years old, entering the workforce. They were six years old when the iPhone entered the hands of the consumer. So this is an employee base that has grown up on frictionless service experience, on intuitive design. And you know, I think about when you or I go online, say we're looking for a product or a service to purchase, or we're looking for information. We search it, we click on a result, and if it's a terrible experience, if we can't find what we're looking for, we're out of there. We're on to the next one, right? I think that applies greatly in the federal space, whereas you know, we talk about the aging, uh, aging workforce. I think a third of the federal workforce is uh, slated to retire in the next two years. Another third is eligible, I think five years from now, and only 7% of federal employees are age 30 and under. So if someone's looking for their next job, if someone's looking more importantly for their first job, that experience has to be great or similar to you know, our personal experience, they're gone, right? And you ask about how you know, these transformation initiatives empower human capital. It's empowering human capital because it's putting those executives square in the center of the mission, right? HR has long been thought of as a, a back office function, right? When in the modern enterprise and in reality, they could very well be the most strategic asset of a business, of a government agency. Um, you know, you think about we published some research, Accenture Research, just in the last fall, and it's entitled The Chief Human Resource Officer as a Growth Executive. And as a part of this study, we interviewed 570 CEOs, 570 CHROs, and this is across 12 different industries in 12 countries. And there's a lot of really interesting tidbits that came out of this, but the one that really stuck out to me is that of the CEOs that were interviewed, 89% of those said that the CHRO should play a central role in a long-term profitable growth strategy. So again, I think long-term profitable growth maybe applies more in the private sector, but if you think federal, CEOs, leaders think HR should play a center role in delivering the mission. And there was a quote that really stuck out to me. It was the chief people officer of Pinterest, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. She said, ultimately, there isn't an HR agenda. The agenda for CHROs is the business agenda. So whether our clients are building rockets, if they're defending the nation, if they're delivering a, a benefit to a citizen, you know, you can't do that without really good people. And so with these modernization initiatives, I mean, it's really putting HR at the center point of the mission and you can't deliver the mission without good people. And then next I'd like to ask, what are some examples of technology that can help agencies manage employee performance more effectively? Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be a technology conference if we didn't talk about generative AI. And I bring that up not just because it's the most you know, relevant topic right now in technology, but I bring it up because there is true, legitimate hyper relevance to the HR organization. And I'll use Accenture you know, as an example. We've got 738,000 employees across the world and feedback is incredibly important. So we're actually starting to experiment with generative AI in the feedback loop. So what we're doing is, I mean, people care about getting feedback. It leads to more engaged, it increases retention. Uh, if it's quality feedback, it's constructive, it's actionable. It's something we realize we have a lot of, our training guides, job aids, a lot of material, a lot of documentation on what really, really good feedback looks like. So we've started to train a large language model based on all this documentation. And what's that, what's doing for us is, it's assisting our employees who are giving feedback and how they reframe that feedback to be more actionable, to be more measurable, to be more effective for our employees. And I think the biggest benefit here is I said assist because we're never gonna fully replace you know, the feedback loop with automation. That's a very personal, very unique thing to each employee. 
But if it helps people give better feedback, it's doing two things. One, the quality of feedback is improving, so that's helpful to our employees and it keeps them engaged within the organization. But two, it's a huge organization, there's a lot of big agencies out there and it takes people's time to give thoughtful feedback. It's also increasing the quantity of feedback. So if we're seeing both an increase in the quantity of feedback and the quality of feedback that people are getting, that's just leading to a much more engaged workforce. And you know, it's something we're really excited about experimenting within Accenture. That's a great point. Well, Stephen Hurley, thank you so much for joining us here at the Workday Federal Forum. You bet, thank you so much.